we're going to be flying the latest Starlink Beta. We've got a fully charged X Star. And we're going to go ahead and launch into Starlink. It's been on for about a minute so that it can establish um, all its satellite and IMU swarmed up. I'll try to get my camera set up here where I can get a good look at the exposure. I think that looks pretty good. 100% on everything. Go into our settings here. Look at our about. We're at 2.0.2.22. Got our altitude limit. Go home altitude. 70 meters everything looks good we got a full card we're going to go out about a mile this is a spot I fly from a lot the direction right now that this drone is facing is uh, facing east I've got a little bit of wind coming from the northeast so we're going to have a little bit of wind coming from the left of us on the way out. Go ahead and fire it up. It's running now. I'm going to take it on up to, I'll take it up to about 300 feet and then we're just going to push it straight on out a couple, uh, about a mile. Also have the uh, landing gear extensions on. Go ahead and get this guy on out there. Video feedback looks pretty good. Everything's looking good now. Gonna keep on sending it out there. All right, we've got our throttle all the way forward. For some reason, I'm in metric, and I'm a. 14.7, 14.8 meters a second. And we're cruising on out pretty good. Try to see if there's any way I can change this to Imperial. There we go, that makes a little more sense to me. We're at 0.75 miles. Signal all looks pretty good. Video feedback is so far flawless. I'm not getting any glitchiness. We're at 0.89 miles. Still got a good visual line of sight on it. I can see a little dot out there on the horizon. It's important. Alright, so we're just broke a mile there. We're at 88% battery. Got my antennas perpendicular. They're straight, pointed straight up and aimed like a panel towards the aircraft. 87% battery strength. 21 miles, no, 33 miles an hour. Looking pretty good. We're at 1.32 miles. Got all my satellite 
19 satellites. So on 75, 7600 feet. So on 75, 7600 50 feet on the controller. Twenty minutes battery time remaining. I'm getting initial beep here. It says it's just lost signal. Of course, it just came back. My my video link says it's weak. Video link weak. Be cautious. 1.67 miles. I can still see it glitching in and out. I'm at 1.75 miles. Remote controller lost connection, so you can expect it's going to turn around. Okay, it just did a turnaround. I still got video though. So I'm going to let it come on home, letting off of my throttle. Looks like it's turned around. Still got video though, at 1.8 miles. We're just going to let this thing come on home on its own. 19 minutes 81 percent battery and she's coming home on her own so the controller is what's lost signal not necessarily the camera i'm gonna see if i can pan it up and down a little bit <clears throat> no <clears throat> so she's on her way back okay i do look like i've got control back i'm able to or I did have control back, able to pan that camera around, possibly. Yep, I've got some control back. We're a mile and a half. Still got a little bit of control. I've got my yaw. I'm able to yaw or pan down. It does seem, though, once these craft lose a connection, and regain it from that point it's kind of flaky it never seems to re actually recover um, the uh, control like it originally had because we're at 1.28 miles we're, we're back within range where previously we had a good solid signal uh, both uh, video and control yet we're still inundated with these alerts that we've, we've lost our control signal Still returning home. I'm not sure what those beeps. Those beeps may mean that it's coming home. Or it could mean that there's intermittent signal loss. 573 feet altitude. I guess that's, I'm going to bring it down some. I think that had to do with my flying in metric mode. Just under a mile out. Coming in at 22 miles an hour, roughly, on the return to home flight. I'm not able to uh, lower the altitude on. Um, returned home it's completely on its own so rather than interfere with anything I'm gonna let it just do its own thing come completely in and land on its own I'm also flying with the uh, gimbal guard and the uh, landing gear extension the clip on landing gear extensions Got 16 minutes 15 minutes remaining 65% battery we're 2400 feet out good clip in the sky there we're moving at 23 miles per hour wind seems to settle down of course you have no idea what it might be up there it 
1600 feet out, 24 miles per hour, 15 minutes remaining flight time, we were 62% on our battery. Video looks good. I'd say if you fly within um, within 3,000 foot of yourself, you're going to have a pretty good flight. You're not going to ever have any kind of dropout. And of course, you got to remember, you need to always keep your uh, antennas aimed at the craft. I can hear it now. I can see it way up there. It's a, right above my head. Let's see if I can tilt it down. See me. I'll be behind the north of that big oak tree down there but we're going to let it come on in and land it's stopped now and it's going to go ahead and land coming down coming down pretty good dropping a little video and I do have my remote controller practically upside down with the antennas aiming at it down at 453 feet lowering itself looking at it looking up at it from the ground it looks like it's moving all around but it's actually those clouds above it moving Very stable machine these are. We'll see how close it comes to, to landing. I'm going to go over and stand where I believe I was. Down pretty good. 104, 100 feet, 98, 89, 87. Lost can to maintain her position. There's a little bit of breeze coming from uh, looks like the rear of the craft. There she is. So far so good. She's about a foot off the ground. Feet are on the ground. There you go. She made it back. So you can see for yourself, we did that, uh, I'm thinking it's just over a mile. Uh, landed back with 53% battery. 12 minutes flight time remaining. The entire video, according, or the duration according to the video, was about 10 minutes and 40 seconds. So, did pretty good. You can see for yourself, looks like, um, looks like the video held pretty good. This is the uh, beta version. Um, the newest beta version 2.0.2.22 so it looks like it's a pretty good success all right we'll upload this to facebook and have a look at it